Sir Ulm, our scouts have spied Regellian forces up ahead. <sighs> then the battle begins here. So it seems. The fights ahead will be nothing like our skirmishes in the south. You've wounded Regel's pride, and they will strike back without mercy. But the spirit of Zofia demands you prevail. There's no turning back now. I know. There you are, Welp. I thought you'd never arrive. But wait a second. Fernand! You march beneath Regel's standard now? Does that really surprise you, Clive? You and the Deliverance took all I believed in and trod it into the mire. In Regel, they still have ideals worth upholding. Damn you, Fernand. Listen to yourself! My king is dead. My country fallen. But I'll not hand this land over to you. Now, it is the Regellian Empire's turn. Lord Burkut shall lead us, and unite Valentia under one noble order. Come to your senses, Fernand. You have always fought for your motherland, for Sophia. Only one of us has lost his senses, Clive. What? Allow me to enlighten you. That boy you have been parading around as your new hero? He was never Mycene's grandson. Oh, what is this folly? Oh, I can assure you it is no folly. My source has known Sir Mycene for years. The old knight has no family. <laughs> Perhaps he made some orphan his ward so he wouldn't have to die alone. You lie. And yet... There is the matter of what the old man at the castle said. <laughs> oh, Clive, you've become the very picture of absurdity. Once you were a man to whom the lineage of our noble houses meant all. But now you take for your future king a boy you don't know from a gutter rat. women those would be witches they are women who have offered their wills and souls to regel's patron god duma he gave them command of vast magic but little else of who they were remains their tale is a sad one but hardly unusual in a land so hungry for power that's terrible if regel occupies zofia her people could be subjected to the same fate i won't let that happen Allow me. Ha! Stand aside! Fine, twist my arm. Just say the word. Ha! Stand back! Come at me, fools! I've got this. Nothing will stop me. Allow me. Just leave it to me. The mother walks with me.
gone. Allow me. Are you finished? Never yield! It's easy once you learn to understand your foes. Join Lord Burkut in the main force. Twist my arm. Come at me! 
me, fools! Something was supposed to happen here. Was a little too close. We've emerged victorious, but the survivors will be making their way back to the main force. We can't rest on our laurels now. Wouldn't you agree, Clive? Hmm? Uh, yes, quite. What is it? You look shaken. Oh, right. Forgive me. You and Fernand were good friends. No, it's not that. Well, it's not just that. In any case, it's nothing you need trouble yourself with, if you'll excuse me. What's with him? Thank <laughs> you. 
think I am. Of course you meant to do that. After that. A moment, please, Alm. I have a fresh report from our scouts. Apparently, the enemy's main force has retreated west through the forest. But before we give chase, we should deal with Desai. It wouldn't be wise to pass him by while his fortress lies in reach. All right, that makes sense. But listen, Lucas, do you know anything about the Regellian general Fernand mentioned? Burkut, I believe it was? Lord Burkut, yes. I am no stranger to the rumors, at least. 
They say he's about your age. A talented young general of royal blood. It's no wonder Fernand is so smitten with him. Yeah. Does it really matter so much where you're born or who your father was? I beg your pardon? Oh, sorry. I was just... I don't mean to speak ill of nobles or anything. Well, I should hope not. Your own grandfather was a count, after all. Yeah, I know, but... Ugh. Enough of this talk. Alm, beyond this forest lies a great army. You shouldn't trouble yourself with anything but the battles ahead. You're right, Clive. I apologize. <sighs> As I live and breathe, the deliverance. Well, this is simply delightful. Huh? Fernand? And who's this? My name is Burkut. I am nephew to His Majesty Emperor Rudolph. So here he is. Home, was it? I must say, I was most impressed by the battle at Zofia Castle. I nearly mistook that motley band of rustics you were leading for an army. What are you doing here? Your main force has retreated. Lord Burkut longs for sport and wishes to test your might. I've gone too long without fighting and felt I needed a spot of practice. Now then, do try to make this little exercise worth my time. God, he's charging right at us! What's the matter, farm boy? Afraid you won't land a single blow? The name is Orm. Not Thorn Boy! Oh, my mistake! Wait a second! That mark on your left hand... Where did that come from? What do you care? Are you here to fight or not? No. It cannot be the brand. Not on one as unremarkable as you. It must be false. Just like its bearer.
careless. But next time will be different. Today, aware, more focused. habit of this. I'm not quite sure how we just pulled that off. There were only three of them. How did they give us so much trouble? Raquel may be stronger than I first believed. What if this is a mistake? Did you say something, Clive? It was nothing. Come, we must plan our siege of Desai's fortress. An ally of ours is being held there, and we must rescue her. You're talking about Matilda, right? I heard what happened. She's special to you, isn't she? She is. We promised to share a future together. And because of that promise, she has suffered for far too long. It relieves me to know she will soon be free of this burden. I'm glad to hear it. And you know I'll do everything I can to help. Thank you, Alm. So not to be an old gossip, but I hear you and Celica had a bit of a row. Ladies, am I right? They just love to get the last word in. I thought it was just my mom and my sister who were like that, but nope. When I found out all women share that trait, my poor heart sank. Huh? How can I be so sure it's all women? How can you even ask that? I've been to a town. I've seen like a dozen women. Hell, maybe more. You're too late. Ain't nothing left for you in this village. We never made trouble for no one. Honored the old laws we did. But to say and them regalian brutes raided and pillaged us all the same. You're with the Deliverance, ain't ya? Then think kindly on us when you give that dastard to say what's coming.
soldiers and the Deliverance. I require your assistance. Gargoyles have kidnapped my daughter and taken her to the Western Shrine. If it is at all in your power, you must not let any harm befall her. I know I ask much, so if you manage to save her, my treasure is yours. Ah, good day. If you didn't know, I am a traveling merchant. My packs are heavy, but I yet have room to deliver a single item if you wish it. Just give me a name, and I'll see they receive it with all speed. Luthia and Elthea descend from the founder of our village, so they do. She was a mage, one who was said to be the champion Sophia's finest disciple. For generations, children in their family have been born with a gift for magic. Though only those in our village and the late king knew of it. So what fool told those damned Regellians? Uh... You there! You're with the Deliverance, are you not? I am. Who are you? My name is Lefir. Merely a humble mage from a humble village. On this day, however, I cry your aid, for my younger sister is in trouble. What happened? First of all, you should know that my sister is named Delphia. She possesses magical potential beyond that of any in our village. One of Regal's arcanists, Tatara, caught wind of this and kidnapped her. He's using his powers to control her and make her guard the northern sluice. They plan to block the sluice until it collapses and Sophia is flooded. What? But that would be catastrophic! Indeed it would. Surely you're planning to stop them, correct? If so, I ask that you also rescue my sister. I'll even go with you if you like. If we defeat Tatara, that will release his hold on her. Say's men come here without pause to raid, pillage, and upend our lives. One of their more wicked knights even made off with some poor lass. And now, the Empire is trying to start a flood and put half of Zofia to ruin. <sighs> Will we never have peace? Are you with the Deliverance? I'm afraid I have some ill news. One of the enemy soldiers mentioned a female knight they're holding captive. Desai plans to put her to death soon, as an example to others. What? They intend to execute Matilda? I fear so, good Sir Knight. If she's dear to you, you'd best march on his fortress before it's too late. Welcome! 
Many thanks. Alm, um, a moment? What is it? It's about that young man Luthier's sister. Is it truly wise for us to get involved? An army of Arcanists awaits us. How are we to protect one village maiden? Hmm. I understand your reasoning, but... Forgive me if I am out of place. I do not mean to question your leadership. But the purpose of the Deliverance is not to save one girl at a time, correct? Sometimes we must examine a situation more dispassionately. <sighs> Suppose it wasn't a village maiden. Suppose it was a princess or some noble daughter. Then would you go save her? Well, that's hardly the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. Look, I know I can't save everyone, and that I'll have to make hard choices. But those choices can't ever be based on the station of a person's birth. I thought you felt the same. I... I do. Then humor me this time, because I'm going to need your sword. <sighs> with me. we won. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> 